The thing I love most about RuneFest is, is everyone at Jagex working together to put on the best celebration for the games we love. The sheer number of moving parts to a show like this just means that it, it can't come together unless there's a lot of people committed to making it you know, come together properly. And um, it's it's a really cool moment when it all comes together and works because it's a thing that we did. We built it. You know, we've done it in house. It's our show. It's our content. Everything here is put together by the people who work on the game. And for me, that's that's the, the proudest part of the whole thing. This year, we wanted RuneFest to be the best one yet. For this year's RuneFest, we wanted to begin by putting a spotlight on the community. You know, they're our stars. We celebrated them by elevating the Golden Gnome this morning to a whole gala night where we celebrated together, had the most beautiful evening. It was social, it was fun, it was celebratory. It was the best way to open RuneFest. The events people have done a really good job on this. It looks incredible. The lighting is so cool. Yeah. And it really feels, it feels like you're in RuneScape. I declare RuneFest open! RuneFest is great because it celebrates really the game as a whole. It doesn't matter if you play old school or RS3. Rather than focusing on the differences, it celebrates what we have in common and everyone's just here to have a good time. There's something really special about being at RuneFest. Not just the people here, but seeing those stage presentations in person. And then, you know, when the presenters come off the stage, you can just go chat to them, ask them about what they talked about. It's not in a closed off environment. When any of us have done a stage presentation, we're down there in the crowd talking to people and just getting involved. And that's what's, in, you know, that's what's important. We're sharing what we love as a community, whether we work at Jagex or we play at home. about the archaeology skill. Today, you'll get the chance to see some of the awesome sights and a taster of what you'll be able to get your hands on. Hello, my delicious sweet potatoes. I wanted to hijack the last part of this year's RuneScape reveals to share with you some developments in RuneScape's game technology. Finally, it's time for the old school keynote. Come on. Hello, RuneScapers! A bit more down-to-earth now. Um, I've got a cup of tea. How much more down-to-earth do you get? Nothing is compared to this. Like, I've been skydiving, and it has not been as exciting as coming here. We come to RuneFest every year because that is just our thing to do now, so... Yeah, we get to meet our fannies and all the friends we've made in-game. Everyone here is so friendly. It's everyone so kind. You feel like everyone you talk to is your friend. Like, there's no... There's no animosity, it's all friendliness. All, we're all here just saying we all play the same game at the end of the day, so there's always going to be something we have in common. You get the chance to meet people that you probably wouldn't have met in person before. It's a great time to meet new people, yeah. meet streamers, meet JMods, and actually get involved with the community. You know, we're here for the same reason, everyone's into the same thing, and it's just like a really friendly atmosphere. Honestly, I'm just excited to see everyone. Yeah, all just, of my friends yeah. in game has caught me to one place. It's a great opportunity to make it more personal. And it doesn't matter if you play old school or RuneScape 3, it's just a great community, man, and it's just been an absolute blast. Oh, I will be back every year no matter what. Like, I don't care what it takes, I will be back. <laughs>